Oh my God. It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so glad that you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like it's really firm. Squeeze it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. on here i'm gonna be late for my shift we're just waiting for a random drug and alcohol test a test what for oh they do this sometimes but more frequently now though because apparently there's been a rise in crew coming to work you know <laughs> probably the stress like i totally get it must be holiday travel and people are kind of crazy these days but yeah don't worry it's only gonna take like two minutes you won't be late for your flight Oh my God, who would do such a thing? Excuse me, it's way too hot on this plane. Can you please turn down the temperature? No, 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 mm -mm. I was just going to ask you to turn up the heat because I'm freezing. Well, we set the plane temperature to around 22 to 24 degrees, which is usually a comfortable temperature for everyone on the plane. Oh, comfortable? Okay, why don't you tell that to my nipples, huh? Do they look comfortable to you? Oh, is this what we're doing now? We're battling it out? Okay, yeah. You want to see something? Look at my pits! It's too hot! Oh. <laughs> uh, we don't have any blankets on this flight, um, but how about I lend you my jacket? I can bring that to you, and uh, how about a nice ice-cold beverage to help cool you down? I am not wearing someone else's clothes. You think a cold beverage is going to help this? The easiest solution is for you to just turn up the heat, okay? And if not, fine, I'll be filing a complaint. No, turn down the temperature or I'm filing a complaint. So pretty much a lose-lose situation for me. Ah! Oh no! Tales from the skies, let's go. Which country are we flying over right now? Ma'am, we're going from LA to New York. Yeah, I know. The cities are both in the United States. So... So... We're flying over the United States. Oh. Due to an overbooking, we're looking for one volunteer to take the next flight out tomorrow, and in exchange, we'll be giving you a $200 travel credit. $300. $400. $500. Hello, I'll take the next flight $4,000 cash. $750. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. You see, they all got places to go, people to see. I'm alone and depressed, so I might as well make some bank out of my situation. Know what I'm saying? Fine. $1,000, travel credit, no cash. Seriously? Oh. <clears throat> and... I would like a hotel because the flight is tomorrow and I need a place to stay. That's reasonable. And I would like to be upgraded to first class on my flight tomorrow. Okay. And I would like a uh, massage voucher for the stress that this flight change has caused. Don't me. push it. I'll take it. Merry Christmas, everyone! I know it sucks we're like working today, but I think we can still have some fun. How about we play Secret Santa with things we find on the plane? Yeah, let's do it! Okay, pick a name. We'll meet back in 30 minutes. I got you, Heather. 
Leftover first class chocolates. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. I got you too. No way. How fun. I thought you meant buy something from the duty free cart, so I got you skincare. Holy crap. These are so expensive. Thanks. My turn. Merry Christmas, Lindsay. Bish, I love you. You know me so well. Are those from our bar cart? Because if you get caught with those when we land, you're going to get fired. Uh -oh. That's why I get rid of the evidence. And here's your gift. <laughs> Seat 7A. Can I help you? Are you with anybody? No, I'm alone. Meet me in the toilet. And that's how I met your father. This is honestly the worst job. The things that we have to do, seriously. Like, then quit. I need to pay the bills, okay? Then stop complaining, because it's annoying. You hate this job too, you never do anything. I love my job, I just choose not to work. What? Hey, it's your turn to check the air quality in each cabin and then make sure to give it to the captain, okay? Check the air quality and give it to the captain. Okay! Hi, Captain. I air quality sample for you. <laughs> what? Hello, my friends. I am back from my vacation, and during that time, I went on several flights as a passenger. Usually, nothing ever happens when I fly as a passenger, but this time, something did. And this story is actually going to confirm that I'm actually not a very nice person. I was flying on an aircraft that looked similar to the photo behind me over here. You see this little ledge part above the seat right here? The passenger in front of me kept putting her trash, her drinks, her, her food, whatever she didn't want, on that little tiny ledge. In the event of turbulence, there's a 50% chance these items will fall to her or to me. The crew were amazing though because they would come to the cabin all the time to pick up the trash so there wasn't really enough time for any of this stuff to happen. But of course she kept doing it, putting stuff on there. And the crew finally came and was like, ma'am, no need to put it up there, please leave it down here. We'll come pick up all the items you don't want and of course you can ring the bell anytime and we'll remove it for you. Now it's finally time to land. The cabin crew have finished all their checks, we're all buckled in, ready to land and what does she do? She puts a coffee cup on that ledge. So I was looking at that cup, thinking about what the chances were that that was gonna spill on me. Well, if the plane is descending and there is a cup on top, guess what? The cup is gonna go this way and there's a 100% chance it's gonna hit her. So I see the coffee cup slowly getting closer to her head. And at that moment, I swear, I had one of those genie angels and genie devils appear. So the genie angel was like, oh, you know, be the good person. You can stop this. It takes two seconds. You just have to remove it. Nothing's ever going to happen. And the devil genie was like, yo, she was inconsiderate AF. She was told not to do it. She still did it. And you know what? This is the only way she's going to learn her lesson, right? If it was hot coffee, for sure, I would have done something, but it wasn't. So <laughs> the devil won. The plane landed. The coffee fell all over her. She got up. She screamed. Ah! And then all the cabin crew were yelling at her, Ma'am, sit down! It's not safe! Sit down! And the whole time, I was just watching. Yeah, I'm going to hell. Excuse me, I'm a gold member? Wow, thank you so much for being a loyal customer for our airline. We really appreciate it. And as a loyal customer, why am I stuck here in economy and not automatically upgraded to business class? Oh, yes, we do provide complimentary upgrades to our gold members, uh, but it is based on availability, and unfortunately, today is a full flight. Is that right? Well, let's check the official website then, shall we? Oh, well, look at this. Gold members, 
automatically qualify for a complimentary upgrade. <gasps> and uh, if you just keep reading, it does say right there, based on availability. Oh my God, this airline is trash. Uh, I'll be more than happy to bring you some snacks from business. What would make me happy is a better seat, not some crummy pretzels in a bag. Well then, our patio seating just opened up if you're interested. Did you see that viral clip on the news where that guy got duct taped to his chair on his flight? This happened on Frontier Airlines. Yes, I saw. That was such an unfortunate event. I know, right? Poor passenger. I know! Poor- What? Yeah, they treated him like an animal. Taping him to his chair, taping his mouth so he can't talk. My God. Brutal. You do realize that he sexually assaulted and punched the flight attendants and was a threat to other passengers, right? Oh, seriously, this world is so sensitive nowadays. Like he was just drunk. These things can happen. So what you're saying right now is that if you're drunk, you get a free pass for this sort of violent behavior? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. You're all scaring me. Maybe now I don't want to date a pilot. Sweetie, no! Just like how there's a lot of great guys on the ground, there's a lot of great guys in the air, okay? Or equal amounts of trash on the ground as there is in the air. Lindsay! That's depressing. What? It's true. That's why I also like girls. Excuse me, what? I didn't know you like girls too. Yeah, it's called insurance. Things you didn't know about Emirates Airlines. Yalla, Habibi, yalla. If you are a first class or business class passenger, you get a chauffeur driven car included in your ticket. That's right. They will pick you up. They will drop you off at the airport to wherever you need to go. On the A380 aircraft, business and first class passengers can enjoy a bar and lounge on the plane. Yeah. Nobody wants the COVID. All of Emirates Airlines aircrafts are fitted with HEPA air filtration systems, removing 99.97% of all viruses in the air. Have you ever seen a shower on a plane? Uh, uh, this is just for first class. I mean, <laughs> I just asked nicely to take a photo in it. But if you can afford first class, it's pretty cool. Already know that Emirates cabin crew is the best, right? But did you know that Emirates has a part of their team over 160 nationalities? Emirates crew are actually hired from all around the world and then they become residents of the UAE. Expo 2020 is happening right now in Dubai until March 31st, 2022. So if you're flying through Dubai with Emirates during this time, well, guess what? You get a free day pass to go see the expo. Have you ever thought of becoming cabin crew? More people are starting to travel, which means we need more flights, which means we need more cabin crew. Here are some tips that can help you get the job. You could go to flight attendant school, but it's not always required. All airlines provide their own training, but I mean, if you get some extra training, there's no harm in that. It is a huge asset to know multiple languages. This could be a sign for you to learn a new language. If you haven't already, gain some experience in the service industry. A job in hotels, restaurant, even retail. Any kind of experience that involves customer service is a bonus. Also, you can get first aid training somewhere. If you have that first aid certification, that's definitely a bonus. Do you know what's also a bonus? I don't really know what's going on. It could be the pandemic or whatever it is, but Passengers nowadays are kind of like, like even on a recent flight, this happened. I don't know. I think moving forward, having some self-defense training will be a benefit. Hmm? I'm still going to see if I can hang out with Captain Eric when we land. I just have one advice for you, okay? Before you start anything, ask him if he's married. Ask him if he's married. What, 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 why do I have to ask that?
Okay, so for example, you forget to ask if he's married. So in the middle of you watching a movie, his wife calls and obviously you're gonna get upset. So what do you do? You cut a huge hole in his crotch area and the one and only uniform that he has to wear tomorrow to work. And then he'll have the audacity to call you a psycho. And then he'll just make the flight back like really uncomfortable, you know? That was like a really specific example. Pilots are so hot. I'm gonna try to date one. You don't need to. You're new. They're coming for you. What do you mean? They like the newbies. It's true. You have a smell. Fresh. That can't be true. That may be. Let's see. Who here has been with a pilot for six months of flying? Be honest. Yep, this just happened. I did something. And the first thing that I wanted to do was tell you guys. For you to understand why I'm so excited, you kind of need to know the background or the history, which is that I was cabin crew for an airline called Emirates Airlines, which is, in my opinion, the best airline in the world. <laughs> and in order to be cabin crew for Emirates Airlines, you actually need to relocate and live in Dubai. So in other words, during that time, Dubai was my home. I resigned as cabin crew over 10 years ago, and since then, I've never been on another Emirates Airlines. I've never been back to Dubai. It just never crossed paths, I guess. So it's finally happening. I am going to Dubai! Not only am I going back to Dubai, I booked my flight on Emirates. Not only on Emirates, but I booked it on Emirates Business Class. I have never in my life flown business class. I have, as a passenger, I only fly economy. And as a flight attendant, I've only worked economy. I tried to buy first class and then I saw the price and then I was like, no. But still, I just can't wait to show you guys all the cool stuff on the plane, in business class, just, just Emirates, the service, and what I'm allowed to film, I'm not sure yet, whatever, but you know, I'll just try to get as much content for you guys on the plane as possible, as well as Dubai, because Dubai is amazing, and I just, I'm just like so stoked right now, so yeah. What are you doing drying my son's underwear with the AC? Why? Because it's wet. He had an accident. Oh, chill out. I wash it in the toilet. You didn't bring an extra pair in your carry-on, maybe? If I did, I wouldn't be doing this now, would I? Uh, maybe your son can go without underwear just for the next couple hours? Ew, no. That's so gross and uncomfortable for him. What's gross and uncomfortable is you having the entire plane inhaling your son's poopery. That was rude. Hey! Whee! I'm filing a complaint. What is your name? Hmm. Ah! My name's Lindsay! Domino's? Uh, yeah, I ordered pizza. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, your dog actually needs to remain in the carrier in the seat in front of you. What? Oh, <laughs> this is not a dog. Ma'am, I know that's a dog with the wig on. <laughs> Please, all animals need to be in the carrier unless you have proof that that's a service animal. 
Well, I see other passengers acting like animals, and I don't see you locking them up. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe sometimes, but uh, these are humans. That's a dog, so... For the last time, this is not a dog. Are you a dog? Huh? Are you a dog? <coughs> See? Wait a sec. You understand me? <coughs> You're cute. You can stay. You can stay. Hi, friends. So, I feel like I'm okay now to be able to talk about this, which is that um, I haven't been giving any bump updates because I actually ended up losing the baby um, a while ago. For those that follow me on Instagram, you guys already know because I've shared it on my stories. Um, but yeah, I ended up losing Mini Genie to Trisomy 18, um, which really sucks because it actually has nothing to do with uh, me or Johnny or our health or anything like that. It can happen to anybody at any time. Um, literally, a doctor said it was just bad luck. It was chance. And so that really sucked. So obviously I wasn't in a good place and um, both my body changed even though it was really early on. Your body actually thinks that it gave birth. So it, it goes through all these changes that I wasn't prepared for. And of course the emotional change and I was just like in a really like bad state. And also as a creative, I like to um, tell my story through videos like creating videos for you guys and I was like well I kind of that's what I was planning on doing and then whenever I tried to film the video my heart was just not in it I'm like wow this is so difficult I and I just felt like the best way here is to just talk to you guys and just tell you what happened this is another reason why I'm actually here in LA right now um, because I have this thing where um I, I I love, come on, you guys know I love to travel, I love to be in the air, um, and something happens to me whenever I travel, My I reset, my energy resets, and it's just very comfortable for me, and I feel like there was just so much bad luck for me in Vancouver, I just had to get away, and uh, we also do have a place here in LA, because Johnny is American, um, So and, and I'm Canadian, which is why it's, if it's confusing for you guys, so we kind of just go back and forth, we just couldn't before because of COVID, and we didn't want to move around, but it's um, we feel relatively safer now to do so, uh, which is why I'm here, so already I feel a lot better just being here and trying to get back to my normal life um before i try again and for everyone that's been sending me sweet messages thank you so much it's it's really helped thank you so much love you can one of you guys please do duty free i'm so tired mm -mm, we're all tired it's your turn okay oh fine duty free anyone duty free hi over here um so what is your favorite fragrance Yes, sir. Would that be perfume or cologne? Perfume. Certainly, sir. Well, uh, this is actually one of my favorite scents. It's uh, very light and fresh and just makes you feel... Great. That, that's great. I'll take it. You keep it. Uh, part, part of... And how many other crew members do you have working on this flight today? Uh, there's like, I don't know, like four, 14 of us? Great. I'll take 13 more fragrances. Just have the crew pick whatever they want, and then just let me know how much it is. Oh, no, no, sir, we, we cannot accept that. Please, it's just to show my appreciation. I know how hard you all work. You have always been so kind to me on all of my flights. Please, just enjoy it. Thank you so much. This is like one of the top questions that people ask before they go to Dubai. I recently came back from Dubai, so let me share with you what I noticed. So for those that don't know, the UAE is a majority Muslim country. So everyone, both men and women, are encouraged to dress modestly in public. So does that mean you need to wear an abaya when you're visiting Dubai? No! I mean, you can if you want. Like, I got to try one on! The only time, though, that you are required to be fully covered is if you decide to visit any of their mosques, but they will provide the covering for you. At the hotel. You can wear this! Nobody cares! Wear whatever 
whatever you want, at the pool, wear your bikini, nobody cares. At the public beach, it's encouraged to wear a one-piece bathing suit. However, seriously, nobody really cared there either. But at the shopping malls, it was a bit different. I noticed that everyone was pretty much modestly dressed. So what does it mean, modestly dressed? Like cover the shoulders up to, say, the knees. So that's pretty much how everyone was dressed. This is pretty much the outfit I wore at the mall, along with just a t-shirt, shorts, as long as they're not like booty shorts, you're good. So now the question is, if you don't cover up, do you get in trouble? There weren't very many, but there were a handful of people in tank tops and nobody really said anything. But I have heard stories that if you wear something too revealing in the mall and the police are there, they will just kindly ask you to cover up. So restaurants, bars, and clubs, they have their own dress code, some of them. So just look it up before you go because you may not be able to wear a hat or running shoes or they might be a little bit fancier. And if you're going clubbing, well, it looked like Vegas. Everyone was like dressed in like this. Seriously. You can wear whatever you want and do some party. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Good morrow, my lady. Okay, that was weird. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is that thing real? Why, yes, tis a real sword. How did you get that on the plane? Ye lords, at ye gate, let thy through. Oh my god. Of course they put the crazy lady in my section. I don't think so, lady. Stop with the lies. I tell ye truth. Okay, why would you bring a sword on the plane? A lady must always protect thyself in case of any danger. We ain't living in no renaissance times, okay? You know what? I don't even care. Just don't hurt anybody, okay? Hey, watch this. Hey! Why, you want more? Hey, crazy lady. Yes, my lady? You want to trade? To my OGs out there, do you guys remember the time Last year when I was like virtually traveling through the green screen and going to different countries and highlighting countries, I kind of want to do that again because that was so much fun. I got to meet so many of you virtually and you got to be on Genie Air, the best airline in the world. So I'm going to Mexico in like two weeks. So let's start off with Mexico. If you live in Mexico or from Mexico, know anything about Mexico, rather it be travel tips, culture, food, fashion, how your mo Mexican mom punishes you, I don't care. Whatever info you wanna share with the world and be a part of Genie Air, then hit me up. Rather comment below. Do not send me TikTok messages, I never get them. You can message me on IG, whatever, and we'll connect. As flight attendants, we are equipped with duct tape, zip ties, if we're lucky, handcuffs to deal with the really, really terrible passengers. As I'm doing more research on Mexico, I realize that I want to start a petition to equip all flight attendants with the deadliest weapon ever made that can bypass security, the chancla. I don't know how, but when thrown, the chancla is proven to hit its target 100% of the time. And then the recipient of the chancla will listen. You shut up. No, you shut up. Hey, both of you shut up. Huh? Yeah, yeah, ah, ah. There's something really loud in this plane. It's giving me a headache. Could you please figure out what it is? I don't know, it could be the engines or something and just do something about it. earplugs if you'd like. No, no, no. I have my own earplugs. I can still hear it. The sound is actually the engines. So. Okay, so then can you tell the captain to turn it off? What are you looking at? Pay attention! Hey, Captain! So, there's a passenger complaining that the engines are too loud. Can you please turn him off? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Hi, 
what can I get for you today? Yes, I would like to have your most expensive champagne in only one glass. All right, and for your father? This not, <laughs> this not my father. I'm so sorry, I assumed he's your father because I heard you call him dad. Oh. <clears throat> in that case, uh, what would the gentleman have? For him, just the bill. Right. Hello, I'm checking in. Thank you, and will you be checking in any luggage today? Just my backpack. All right, so there will be a backpack fee, and I noticed you're wearing a jacket, so a jacket charge. No, I'll just take it off, and I'll just put it into my backpack. <laughs> All right, so a jacket and a backpack charge, and will you be wanting a window or an aisle seat? Oh, uh, okay, uh, aisle please. Great, so there'll be an aisle seat B. No, just give me whatever seat is free. Only the middle seats by the toilets are free, but they're all taken, so. So I have to pay regardless. That's correct, so aisle B, and I'll be printing your boarding pass, so print fee. It's okay, I I'll just use my phone. Right, internet fee then, and will you be using the toilet during the flight? I don't know, maybe. You never know, you should get it just in case. So, there'll be a toilet fee, flush fee, toilet paper usage fee, and we also have cleaning charge, odor removal fee, and convenience fee. So, will you be needing a seatbelt? Oh, come on, that's mandatory! <laughs> no. Uh, give me the seatbelt. Smart choice. So with the seatbelt fee and safety charge, a total comes to $1.2 million. Lindsay, I need your help. Shh, I'm on my break. Leave me alone. It's an emergency. Literally everything is an emergency, so go away. I'm serious, I think someone's dying. Is there a doctor on board? Yes, but we still need you to help. Then they have a better chance of surviving than if I help them. Do your business, don't throw trash in there, close the lid, then you flush. The ones that said toilet water is the same as your coffee water. No, it's not. We also have here a change table for your bebe. Okay, change your diapers here. Please throw the diapers in the trash and don't keep it at your seat. If you are feeling air sick, we have some puke bags in here for you to use. You can also ask for help. And yes, cabin crew can actually open the doors on the outside to help you in case you need it. Some airlines do give you extra toiletries, but if it's not there, just ask them and they can give it to you. No smoking. I know some people try. You will get charged. There are smoke detectors. Don't try. So once you wash your hands, you will notice that the water does not go down. You just need to press this button, and down it goes. And that concludes the airplane for the tour. Tales from the skies, let's go! Ma'am, are you okay? Can I get you anything? Oh yeah, I just couldn't find the puke bag. If you need it, the puke bags are located in the seat pocket in front of you. Oh, I, I didn't see that, but it's okay. Here. Are you trying to give me vomit? Yeah, can you take this? Check out that flight attendant. She's cute. She's okay. She's checking me out right now. She's not looking at you, she's just looking Shh, at the plane. She's coming. Would you like a snack? Yes, please. Thank you. We all get that, I'm gonna ask her out. Yeah, I mean, go for it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what? I saw this one TikTok of this guy picking up flight attendant with a note. I'm gonna do that. You know what? I'll bet you 20 bucks she's gonna say yes. Fine, you'll run. <sighs> Will you go on a date with me? Yes or no? Get ready to pay up because this is golden and oh, oh here she comes excuse me miss I just have something for you thank you trash any more trash, trash. 
Thank you. Uh, it's time for boarding, so I'm just headed to the gate. Excuse me, you dropped something. That's trash. Oh, well, the garbage can's just right here. Great, so do your job and put it there. I'm back. Oh my God, so this cleaner person had the audacity to tell me to do her job and pick up trash off the floor. I know, like she should be thanking me. I'm like giving her something to do. Oh my God, I know, like get a real job then. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I'm going to be arriving in Milan at 6 p.m. So don't be late, okay? Did you say you're going to Milan? Yeah. They just announced a gate change to gate A57. But that's at the other end of the airport. Oh, you better hurry then. You're going to miss your flight. Hey, I gotta go. This is the final boarding call for flight to Milan at gate B10. All passengers must board now. Final call. I'm lost. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I'll help you find your parents. What's your name? Jeannie. What a beautiful name, Jeannie. Do you remember where you were sitting? Yeah, it was dark and cold and I was all alone. Okay. I I'm just going to ask my friend for help. Just wait one second, okay, sweetie? What kid? Uh, I swear, she was just here. Okay, well, let's just check. Um, no, we have no kids on this flight. No, th there was a kid here with pigtails and a pink panther doll. Oh, no, wait, there is a kid on this flight. Oh, no. In cargo, though. Cargo? Oh, no, that's so sad. And her name was Jeannie. Such a cute name. Jeannie. Right, right. See ya. If you are a flight attendant or if you were a flight attendant, you really don't get phased by much anymore. Like, we've seen it all. Oh, I just want to take a shit and just like smear it all over the walls. Disgusting? Mm, whatever. We don't really get phased. Oh, a tarantula is loose in the cabin. Mm, scary, but you know, I can see how it happens. I didn't think it was possible to shock me any further. On a recent Delta flight, there was a situation in the cabin where a passenger in 13A is breastfeeding a cat and will not put cat back in its carrier when the flight attendant requested. <laughs> this is a new one. That's a new one. I really wish I was there. <laughs> You were shocked to learn that when you travel you should leave your remote control car but instead of a car an eggplant at home because they are illegal yes i was shocked to learn that as well but i wanted to share that story with you so that you don't have to go through what i had to go through my story highlighted the uae because that's where i learned my lesson but did you know that there are other countries that ban them as well so if you are traveling to any of these, leave your toys at home. This last one here, I learned from you guys and I just wanted to share it with you because I was shocked. So Alabama and Georgia apparently banned them, but uh, you're allowed to have them if uh, you have a doctor's note. And Texas, you just can't have more than like six. Okay, everyone, open up to show what you know. Antonio, are you eating?
Yes. Who told you that you can eat in my class? Um, my stomach. Well, eating isn't allowed in my class. Um, when did my room become your class? Antonio, I said stop eating. Oh, you know what, you right. You want some? You seem a little hungry. It's like too late. You know what? Go to the office. The office? What they gonna do? Send me home? You know what I am going to do? What? I'm listening. Call your mom. Go right ahead. Call her. Who's this? Hey, girl, I bet you're still hungry. <laughs> you or something i've never seen you before yes this is my first shift first shift wow exciting would you be a doll and take this to the passenger sitting in 13c 13c okay but we don't have row 13 saying that you gave the cream puff to the passenger in 13C? Yes, I gave it to 13C! <laughs> we will be arriving in New York shortly, where the local time is 5 p.m. You mean 3 p.m. The flight was only three hours. There's a time zone difference, ma'am. So we're traveling into the future? No, we're just in a different time zone. Well, every second of every day, we're advancing into our own future. So if we're in their future, when they're advancing into their future, we have forwarded to their future, right? Bitch, I don't know. again. I didn't feel anything. Finish. Recovery time. Inspect your luggage. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Is that, or is I mean, if you just want to tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find. Please don't touch anything. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have an electric toothbrush anywhere? No. An electric shaver, perhaps? No. Maybe a microphone? N no. Immersion blender. I don't even know what that is. Or maybe a remote control car, but instead of a car, it's an eggplant? Huh? Do you have any battery operated device? Battery. Oh, yeah. If you open up that little pouch, I have my vibrator. <laughs> Ma'am, that is illegal in our country. Excuse me, what? Please go see that officer over there. Am I going to jail? Cabin crew, please prepare doors for departure and cross check. Hey! Did you want to sit with your friend? I don't mind moving. Oh my god, thank you! Here's your meal, sir. I'm actually vegetarian. I'm sorry, sir. You actually had to pre-order your special meals? Oh. You can have mine. We ordered vegetarian and we can share. 
Oh my god, thank you so much! Oh, what's wrong, sweetie? I miss my friends. If your mom's okay with it, you can have some Pocky. Thank you! Such a stressful flight today. Miss Flight Attendant, I have a present for you. See, I drew me, and that's you! Passenger 40C was like rude to me for no reason. Hey, I know, this job is hard sometimes. <clears throat> is this funny to you, Lindsay? Hey, I just want to say sorry for being rude to you earlier. What did you say to him? I just told him if he doesn't apologize to you for being an ass, and I'm going to share this photo of him that I found with his pants down on every single screen on this plane. But that's not true. He doesn't know that. Okay, team, before we depart, we're going to do a quick safety quiz. All right, first question. What is the pre-flight security check for our halons? Lindsay, how about you tell me the last time you actually had to use a halon and I'll tell you. Yeah, that's what I thought. The needle should be in the green zone. Very good, Sandra. Suck up. Hey, what's a halon? The fire extinguisher? <laughs> right. Uh, so what happens if uh, it's not in the green zone and there's a fire? We all die. We die? Okay, everybody, just shut up! Do your checks. Make sure the needle is in the green zone. If there's a fire, nobody dies, okay? Handsome boy, why you do poor job? I'm a plastic surgeon. Oh, please, very much. Uh, me lift. I want to lift. Give me discount. Oh my, stop being so embarrassing. Don't me. No, I can't. No, why? Because you're perfect. So you're shopping, right? And yeah, you want to take a break, maybe do something different? What about skiing? <laughs> Next! Hello. Okay, so I understand that you had in your possession a... <clears throat> a remote control car, but instead of a car, an eggplant. Is that correct? Yes. Were you aware that these items were illegal in the UAE? No. Passport. You do realize that I can find you for this. Just next time, be more aware of what you're bringing into the country. Enjoy your stay. Captain Eric and our first officer Vanessa would like to first thank you for choosing to excuse me did you say Vanessa yes first officer Vanessa our pilot's a woman yes Vanessa's a woman no I don't feel safe having a woman fly this plane 
She has over a thousand hours in flight experience. She's more than capable of getting you there safely. No, you need to do something about this. This is not right. Certainly, sir. Ah! My apologies for the delay. I was just taking out the trash. Things you didn't know about Cabin Crew, part 24, let's go! So what happens when passengers become violent or become a threat to other passengers and the crew? Well, they need to be restrained. Each airline has their own policy on how to restrain, but typically should not be restrained to any part of the aircraft unless it's a last resort. Why? In an emergency, we need to evacuate the plane in 90 seconds. And if restrained, it can keep other passengers from leaving on time. For example... Hey! You! Ah! Ah! What is he doing? Get me off this flight! Great work, everyone. That concludes our yoga on the plane today. Namaste. My daddy's got a BMW. Well, my daddy drives a Mercedes. My father drives an Aston Martin. My papa drives a Rolls Royce. My dad drives a Ram 1500. I finally decided to hire a professional to make my YouTube intro because I'm not good with the stuff, like all the tech stuff. And I got it back. And oh my god, it's so cute! All I said was create something like five seconds that's like represents me. Watch! Am I still married? I just assumed you were staying with Tobias. Do you know where this new place is? Do you have an address? I'm sorry, I don't. He definitely wasn't staying with Tobias, so that I know for sure. Keto, thank you. That is disgusting. <laughs> Beware of this scam in Paris. Bonjour. Uh, sorry, not interested. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what you're asking for. You can't speak. Okay, so you, you want me to sign, um, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, like a petition, a petition. Oh, okay, but I have no money. 
Ok? Uh, je je n'ai pas la monnaie. Ok, sure, I'll sign. I'll sign. Merci. I thought you couldn't speak. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Merde! Hello, Sarah. What would you like for your meal? Uncle Roger will have the egg fried rice. Excellent choice. Here you go. Enjoy your meal. What is this? What is this? What is this? Why the rice so wet and the egg look like rubber? Uncle Roger make egg fried rice video. You should watch it, teach you how to make it properly. Sir, I didn't make that. Uh, the chefs on the ground actually made that and then they froze it for not sure how long. But then they give it to me and I just pop it in the oven and uh, give it to you. Hiya, woman, you trying to kill me? Usually it's a yes, but I swear, this time I wasn't. Uh, apparently there was a flight attendant that threatened to throw a passenger off the plane! And y'all have been tagging me, asking me if that was me! And I'm like, I swear, it wasn't me! And then I'm getting messages saying that I influenced this flight attendant to say that! To all the flight attendants out there, I have never ever said that to a passenger, okay? I just thought it. Pendeja. It means powerful and gracious woman. Oh, okay. And here is your coffee. Gracias. You're welcome, Bandeja. What did you call me? Bandeja. You little... Ah! Ah! Bandeja! I said Bandeja! Gracious lady, Bandeja! Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? I just wanted to ask. Are you wearing astronaut pants because your ass is out of this world? No, I'm wearing baseball pants because my ass is out of your league. Whatever. You're ugly anyway. It has a, a strong smell. But it's so delicious. I'm sorry, sir. It's it's really upsetting the other passengers. I'm just gonna have to get rid of this, okay? Throw it away! I have to go. wheelchair accessible seat and we would really appreciate it. Yeah, no thanks. As you can see, there is a wheelchair passenger who would really appreciate that seat. You should have reserved the seat then. If you move me over to business class, I'll move. What a wonderful idea. Fantastic. Sir, I'm just gonna bring you up to business. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Fuck you very much. Don't fly with us again. Your baby is an asshole. I spat in your coffee. 
You smell like a ball sack. Repeat after me. Okay. If it's not perfect, if it's not perfect, on the first try, on the first try, it's a learning opportunity and I get to try again. It's trash. I'm trash and I am never trying that again. No! Miss, can I get a Coke, please? Of course. Sandra, 40C's looking for you. Oh, okay. Hello, you asked for me? Yeah, I uh, wanted a Coke. Lindsay, the passengers wanted a Coke. Really? That's so weird. Babe, can I get a massage tonight? Excuse me, I just want to say you're gorgeous. Thank you. She's all right. And who might you be? Her boyfriend. Uh, for now and every day that she's the most beautiful person on this planet before I throw you off the plane. You are the most beautiful person on this planet.